Well, with the new year in full swing, recent studies show that January 19th today uh, is coming up and it's D-Day, also known as Ditch Day. It's when most people will give up on their New Year's resolutions. Joining me now, Adam Jorgensen and Ben Williams. Um, so to talk about what's coming up and we don't want to happen, we want to stick with those resolutions. Adam, I know you're a member and Ben, you're the membership director. Um, ben, let's start with you real quickly. Talk to me about when the 19th approaches, on average, people are probably kicking those resolutions now. What are some things people can do to keep them and not lose those resolutions? Absolutely. So two weeks in, we usually see two to three weeks, people start to fall off those big New Year's resolutions. Um, we recommend start small. So make a big goal, but then actually break that down into something you can do each and every day. Secondly, we think it's important just to make it purposeful. Find something that you're really going to connect with, because it's going to get tough, life's going to get busy, to way to stick with it when times get tough. And then third, and maybe most importantly, find a community. At the Y, you know, build a team that's going to help you. Really, at the Y, we feel that you know, we want you to join a gym, we want you to be part of a community that's going to be in your corner to help encourage, support you as you go on your fitness journey. Okay, Adam, you're a member at yep. the Y. Talk to me about why this is such an important thing for you. You know, uh, so I got started with the Y when I decided to challenge myself. So I, like most of us, I focused a lot on my career, not enough on my fitness. And so I went into the Y, met with the fitness director there, Ellie. She paired me up with an amazing trainer, Casey, and they were able to help me look at this big endurance event that I wanted to do and break down a plan, like Ben said, right? Start simple, build consistency, help me create that community and uh, really get not only the consistency I needed to build my own momentum and stay motivated mm -hmm. and positive through the whole experience. How long ago was this? It. About a year ago. So you started really in 2019. Oh, least. yeah. Yeah, So absolutely. did you want to give up ever? Because that's what happens with a lot of people. Three or four times a week. Yeah, absolutely. Really that frequently? Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we were training for a big event, and, you know, you're working out really hard. You wake up in the morning, and one of my things is I've been working on getting up really early to work out. Your body's creaking, you're sore, and you're like, maybe we'll just take today off, right? But so my mentality's been no zero days. Maybe I can't do the five miles I wanted to do, so I'm going to go do two miles and just Are get something walking? in. Walking, working up to doing more running, okay. high-intensity weight training with What is Casey. it? Has there been a payoff? Yeah, absolutely. So I did the event in October. Uh, it's basically an event where you hike up a black diamond ski slope 17 times and oh try goodness. to get to the equivalent of hiking Mount Everest. Uh, it's called 29 You're a big guy. That's a lot. You're I'm telling, impressed. You're telling me. <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> I was able to, I got injured partway through the event and, you know, still made it up, uh, you know, uh, all the, the sense that I wanted to. So I was pretty excited about it. So I've already signed up again for... Uh, for this year in August, going to do it again. Wow. Uh, going to keep training with the Y, get in uh, even better shape, kind of reach a new goal and reset my baseline and keep going. Ben, I want to come back to something you said in one of your tips. You mm -hmm. said community is a big thing, like yes. going into the Y and having people around you. Is that Absolutely. critical? Because if you're just alone doing it, it's real easy to give up. Yeah, that motivation, it always tends to wane after so long. You can only go so far in internal motivation. You need outside factors to help bring along, you know, help that support. So get a trainer, get someone. But more than that, you know, connect with another member, connect with our staff that can get you set up on an appointment to say, you know, I want to go to the gym, but what do I do when I get here? We do that, you know, as a why, you know, or wherever you're at, just get coaching to someone, really encourage you to help you along when it gets tough. Have you been in that situation where you have to encourage the person and say, yeah, keep doing it. It's February. We're yeah, trying to go no, the whole year. I mean, absolutely. Just, I mean, we're all human. We all, you know, life gets busy for everybody. And so to come alongside, that's what we love to do to help people that when they're you know, just a quick word, you know, a quick phone call, quick say, hey, I haven't seen you a bit. You know, I'm encouraging, not like, oh, where have you been? But we're so glad you're back. Like, how can we help you keep that next step? Well, got it. Thank you, Ben, very much. Adam, good luck with the training this year. Uh, hope it goes well for you and you get up without, what, what did you do again? You got injured halfway up? Yeah, I, uh, I, it was real icy and snow, right? So I, okay. I messed up my ankle pretty bad on one of the ascents. But well, uh, I, I'm hoping this, this year is a little way, better for you. All okay. the way this year. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. Good thing to remember as we come up on D-Day on the 19th. So uh, we're going to be back in just a couple minutes.